folks, I am UltraZilla and today I have a review of the McFarlane Toys Warhammer 40k Ultramarine Intercessor something or other, something like that. Uh, I'm not a Warhammer guy, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna let you know right off the bat, so any like little details that might be missing from this guy that if you're a Warhammer fan are gonna be like, well, you didn't point out that. I, I can't help you. I I'm, you know, I nor am I gonna look it up because when it comes to figures, it's about the figure. Is it a cool figure uh, or not? You know, that's my angle because I like figures. I'm a figure channel. I like to talk about this stuff uh, as figures first and foremost. That's always been my thing. If there's like accuracy things, it depends on how big of a fan I am of that property. So I just wanted to put that out there because I know that's a, a, a stickling point. A stickling point? A sticking point. <laughs> For some folks, um, it's not for me. It's about the figure. Is the figure cool? And McFarlane has been doing some really, really cool figures of, of late. And uh, I was really excited about this because I've always liked the look of these Ultramarines. Now, admittedly, I was disappointed when the one they put out was a red helmeted one as opposed to a blue hel helmeted one. And then, again, that, again, that's something I do not know about. Um, but I got it anyway because I really wanted it. I, I wanted one of these figures in my collection, a representation, especially with that Bandai that came out, which was like crazy overpriced. Um, I, I almost wanted to order that, but I'm like, I'm not a Warhammer guy. Why would I order that? You know, like even even saying how cool it is, there's just this. You know, I think designs are cool, and then you know, once they get over a certain price, it's just like, well, you got to factor in a. <laughs> your fandom as well. Anywho, that's neither here nor there because McFarlane did deliver this big chunk of a figure. Is it cool? Let's find out. Articulation on this awesome trooper here. Head is on a ball joint but you're not getting a ton of range anyway. I think it's on a ball joint at least. Uh, the upper body moves freely. It feels really good. I believe you have a waist swivel too, I think. I could be wrong there. Uh, I don't know if you do because I can't really move it uh, at all. So maybe it's just the, the upper body. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I think it is. I'm looking in there, I think it is. Should have known that before, sorry. Hinge, swivel at the shoulder. Uh, it moves like a butterfly joint in a way, but I don't see a cut there. But it, you definitely got forward movement, so maybe I think it's just a the, the way they did the join inside here is um, this ball here and then there's a deep like peg that goes into the uh, body so you have actually some movement for that ball to move around and is it that's kind of interesting you do have a bicep swivel you have a double jointed elbow but it's a little bit blocked off the wrists are uh, just on swivels I believe not getting a ton of Oh, uh, you know what? There it is. There it is. It's an upward articulation, but not getting a lot. Legs not getting a ton either at the thighs. They can go back and stuff. And a little bit of movement like that. No real thigh cut. Double jointed knee actually works really, really nicely. And then uh, the foot, I believe, is on a ball joint. Mm -hmm. Very, very little rocking action on that, so... Yeah, the articulation could be better on this guy, but... With all this armor, it's a little bit tough, so I'm fine with what we got. For accessories, the Intercessor first comes with a Warhammer 40k stand. A little hole there, you can put it on his foot, I'm not gonna do that. But it's got a nice little logo and some dust, so there you go. We get a very nice pistol uh, done in a nice, like, gunmetal gray. It's got a really cool texture to it, and uh, the sculpt is actually really well done. I mean, you know, it's McFarlane, so uh, they do good sculpts. This is really good. I really do dig this. Really cool. Fits in his hand really nice, so perfect. And we also get this really cool chainsaw type of deal. I don't know what these things are called. The gun or the sword. I'm not a Warhammer guy. That's okay. I just love it. <laughs> I just love the look. Um, 
this is really good looking. And I'm not taking it out of his hand either because it's really a pain in the butt to put back in uh, without any heat. So I'm just gonna leave it um, for the sake of this review. Really great hilt here, beautifully done. Again, gunmetal silver, really nice sculpt. Very, very well done. The uh, gold skull here is beautiful. Nice, shiny. And then you got this nice satiny finish here for uh, the blade part. Uh, and then you, you still got that gunmetal going down here for like the chainsaw part. I don't know if that's what it is. Um, it's okay. I really don't need to get, no, but you can tell me. You can tell me down below. Um, but it's really nice. I like this thing here, whatever it is. It's all fantastic. A really, really uh, good look. Um, I did really want this guy to come uh, with the like, signature like uh machine gun type of thing you know uh the very colonial marines type of gun uh that looks amazing there's one that came with the the black figure but i wasn't gonna get that i do want that gun but you know this will these two weapons will have to do and they are both very nice taking a look at the assault intercessor in full proportions are interesting um, really big on the bottom, got this big backpack, don't know if the backpack came out, I didn't talk about it before, but, oh, it does come out, so, there you go, I guess this is an accessory, <laughs> um, that looks pretty good, little scratch there, but kind of adds to the look a, a little bit, the red skull there, sculpt is pretty good, just done in a blue, I do like it, I'm never gonna, take it out like I just did now but it looks really really good a nicely sculpted backpack a little bit of paint there kind of tampo printed um symbol there uh and it looks good you get that same thing going on here so very nice do we got what do we got on this side different tampo printing we got a four symbol thing there I don't know what they mean I don't know what any of these things mean again tell me everything down below I don't care I don't mind learning don't want to look it up but I don't mind learning um the uh, yellow looks pretty decent here. I like this this symbol right here. I, I, I do dig it. It's like a badge. Really cool. So that's very nice. And then you got a like an iron cross type of deal with the skull printed there in gold. Big skull here, uh, like eagle skull done in gold as well. Really, really nice. Here's that skull thing printed on his knee again with white around it. That's pretty neat. Is that all the printing? I think so. So yeah, well, everywhere the print is, they they did well. They did really well here for sure. And this guy just looks amazing up and down. Uh, besides that, you know, the plastic quality is really nice. It's heavy, it's sturdy. It feels really, really good. It feels like there would be die cast in this. Um, I, I do uh, really, really like it uh, a lot, actually. And the sculpt is perfect throughout. You got some pouches back here that look really good on these, uh, like, hip skirts. Armored hip skirts. A little belt looks really good. Chest piece underneath this beautifully sculpted eagle skull thing uh, is very nice. And it's a more pearlescent plastic. In spots and some spots it's more smooth and uh, the, the different textures really really help out his gauntlet looks good going into his hands and the armor on top of his hands looks good so all of that is beautiful the giant I mean we looked at um, the prince but the giant uh, armor here shoulder armor looks amazing shoulder pads look really really good um, and they are on like little ball joints there and then you got like black underneath, ribbed, looking cool. You can see it all going down there, up his butt. Very, very nicely done. And you know, you can't see anything when you move the, uh, the joints. And that is good, that is really good. Really nice armor throughout. The leg armor looks really good on down on his boots. I do like, I like the big balls here. Very, very nicely sculpted throughout. Bottoms everywhere. So that is amazing. Taking a look at the head sculpt, we're gonna zoom in on that. The green eyes look good. And then you got silver bits on the sides. 
another skull there, which obviously is not painted the best, but I don't see it with the naked eye. It just looks like shadow to me in the naked eye. So zoomed in, you can see there's a little bit of a, it, it kind of is like a shadow, um, the way it's done. Um, but the silver ears look good. The sculpt. I wish this was a blue head, but I, I actually have, um, have gone, gone, uh, have become accustomed to this redhead now. Now I've had this a few months, uh, and it looks really, really cool. So I think it does add, it's a nice head sculpt, nice helmet. Um, and overall, this guy looks beautiful. And, you know, this is, uh, I'm finally getting this review done post, um, top 20 of 2020. And, and as you guys know, this guy made it onto the list. Um, it's just a really nice figure. Now that I'm actually, you know, looking at it fully, I think my decision was warranted. For your size comparisons, here's the Ultramarine with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, I think this figure is really good. It was on my top 20 for a reason, um, and it's well, well deserved. It's a nice, chunky, solid figure um, with some really nicely done paint. I don't really have much in terms of like errors uh, there. Well, a little bit of smudging here and there, but nothing crazy. Could there be more paint? Yes, there could be more paint, but uh, where it is, it's applied nicely. I love the golds, and I just love the different tampos. They did very well with it. The weapons are very nice. Um, I wish it came with the machine gun thing, uh, the pulse rifle thing, uh, but uh, otherwise, it's great. It's really good. So there you go, guys. That's my review. I hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Click the bell as well. Till next time, peace out, peeps.